So, you guys might be wondering what we're doing today. It's going to be something different. Some of you are going to like it, some of you aren't going to like it, but that's okay. Because it's something different. What I'm going to do is do a catch and cook smallmouth video today. When I say smallmouth, I'm not going to catch and keep an 18, 19, 20, 17, even a 16 inch smallie. I'm going to go for like a 14 incher, you know, 13, 14 incher. I want one right in that one to one and a half pound range. There's millions of them out there, so it's not going to affect the population to keep one of these smallies. Because I see people keeping smallies, eating them. I don't. And I'm you know, not going to on a regular basis, but I just thought to myself, hey, why not, uh, why not see what all the hype is about and make an educated decision of my own? <clears throat> so what I'm doing is motor on a local lake here. You can kind of see leaves are changing. Um, both season opens today. I might be in the stand, but I think the wind's gonna be wrong. I'll uh, maybe show you a picture of a of a bark that I'm after a nice wide eight pointer. Um, anyway, I'm gonna probably just do a Lindy rig and a Sacramento. Go around, find some inside turns, you know, whatever. You know, and I'll try to catch a few smallies for you guys. I'm not gonna catch one smallie and then run off and cook it. I'm gonna try to catch two and then run off and cook it. Anyway, let's get at her. Oh, there's a fish right there. Probably a smallie. Got it. Smallmouth I want to go around this one, I got a feeling. Too big. That or could be a pike. That's nice. Nice little cool fish there, too. This could be a pike, too. I don't know. Hoping not. A large mouth. Well, we're not gonna be eating a large mouth, <laughs> but that's neat. It's a nice large mouth. Oh, let that guy go. Sweet. Hey, I'll take a large mouth. I'll go back with our minnow here. Take my drag up a little bit. Size fish, I think. It's fighting like a pike. <laughs> well, guys, <laughs> that's not a pike, that's a walleye. Got 
gosh, it's 20 inches long, 20 and a half. It's a borderline for what a guy would want to keep. there holy oh, you see this has that pike that just tried to eat my small ones wow Let's see if we come back up oh that was crazy that thing was massive like a huge i mean i don't know it's probably 30 Probably 30 in smallmouth, or pike tried to eat my little smallie here. Well, it's a good sign there's smallies here. There's a fish. There's a fish. This is a good sized fish, whatever it is. Oh no, I just got it. Okay, I just got caught, got caught in a jigging ramp. Oh. What do we got here? That's a northern pike. Probably the one that just tried to eat my smallmouth. Well guys, I think I've caught everything now. Largemouth, smallmouth, walleye, pike. Two to twenty six goes back. That's a fish. There's a little small mouth. Oh, hey, gosh. Just, gosh, that's what I want, but he's just a little too small there, Holmes. I need it. Smaller or bigger. Well, we are catching a little bit of everything. We still need to catch that elusive one and a quarter pound smallmouth, though. Fish picked it up. It feels like a northern pike. The way it's fighting. And it is. I hate Northern Pike. Or I don't hate them. I just, when I'm trying to catch up. Trying to catch a schmolly to eat for a video. They shouldn't be biting like that. Hey, hey, settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down. Grab my hook out. Get you back in the water there, bud. We'll be all right. There it is right there. Top of the mouth. Gosh. Oh no. There's a fish. hooked deep in the mouth regardless. All right, everybody. So it's kind of dark out. I got my headlights on just to shoot the end of this video. Well, not the end of this video, but uh, this little part here. But uh, caught a little bit of everything today. Caught some pike, caught a nice walleye, caught some smallmouth. Um, caught a nice largemouth. Uh, 
So I was looking at a little bit, looking to get a little bit bigger smallmouth to try and eat tonight, but it's not happening, you know. And it, or I shouldn't say it, it's not happening. It didn't happen. I did keep, I did catch that one deep, you know. It's like a 13 incher is all, 12 or 13 incher, and that should do, you know, to get an idea of what a smallmouth is going to taste like. So you see that he hooked it, had to keep it, you know. So I'm going to clean it up quick, and then we'll get right. Right to the deep frying is where we should be at right about now. All right, so got some batter here, a deep fryer. Um, this batter isn't ideal for these deep fryers because they tend to stick to the bottom of the basket, but when I want to, I make it work. But here's that smallmouth fillets. They kind of resemble a crappie fillet. Well, this the size of this one anyway, because it's, you know, this fillet is about the size of a 10 or 11 inch crappie. But uh, yeah, so I, I deboned them and everything. So we're gonna see what they taste like here. I'm gonna dip them in and drop them in the grease and we'll be right back. All right, there's our fish. We'll let them cool out down a little bit here. And we'll uh, take a bite, see what it's all about. Well, everybody, I'm gonna go for it. Got the smallmouth bass here. Smells like fish. I, you know, I've tried to eat largemouth bass before, bigger ones. They taste like mud. I've ate smaller largemouth bass through the ice before, and they were good. But I don't know about this. Water temps are 68 degrees today. Well, I'm not going to lie, that was pretty good. You know, there's no fishy taste, no mud taste to it whatsoever. Um, maybe the main reason for that is because it was a smaller bass, or I don't know, or maybe they're just, you know, good eating fish. But this smallmouth was actually really good eating. I'm going to eat the rest of it. Wow, yeah, I'm going to have to give it a taste probably at least a B, B plus. Yeah. I still prefer crappie or bluegill, you know, or perch, but hey. Hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, sample on how a smallmouth would taste. Uh, anyway, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. I'm going to keep on rolling out the videos.